Sea turtles have existed on Earth for millions of years. They are like the canaries in the coal mine of the planet's oceans because of their role in maintaining seagrass beds which thousands of fish, crustaceans, and shellfish depend on to survive. Much like your lawn, these grasses need a regular mowing to thrive and remain healthy. Sea turtles act as the ocean's lawnmowers. By eating the blades, they stimulate root growth, which in turn increases the density and size of the grass bed. They have always faced enormous natural obstacles, but it has only been in the last 200 years that they've begun to struggle for survival due to their biggest threat, human beings. Our impact on sea turtles through direct and indirect contact has reduced their numbers to startling lows. With proper education, we can reduce or eliminate most human threats. Sea turtles spend the majority of their lives in the ocean, only leaving the water to nest. During this process, the female crawls out of the water, up to the dune line where she digs a hole in the sand and lays her eggs. This almost always occurs at night, where the cover of darkness provides safety until she can return to the water. After spending one to two months under the sand, hatchlings break free from their eggs and dig to the surface. In a mad frenzy, the freed hatchlings race toward the brightest horizon. They're trying to reach the safety of the open ocean, where they spend their early years developing in floating algae beds. Under natural conditions, light provided by the moon and stars would make the ocean the brightest horizon. These light cues lead the sea turtles back to the water. The wrong types of light used on or near the beach can confuse and disorient them, leading them away from the ocean. Once disoriented, both adults and hatchlings will crawl until they find water, are rescued, or most often until they die. Scientists have learned that the longer wavelengths of light on the visible light spectrum are far less disruptive to sea turtles. These wavelengths appear dark yellow and dark red to the human eye. We can all make a difference in the survival of sea turtles. Follow the laws and rules of the beaches that you visit. If they allow the use of flashlights during the nesting season, always use a proper filter over the lens of the flashlight and never shine any light on a nesting sea turtle or her hatchlings. If you live on or near the beach, install turtle safe lights during the nesting season. These lights meet three criteria. First, keep it long. They should only emit long wavelengths of light. Look for the wildlife lighting certificate when purchasing turtle safe lights. Second, keep it low. Light fixtures near the beach should only be used to illuminate walkways for safety. Third, Keep it shielded. A proper shield directs light down, reducing unnecessary light pollution. If you're visiting a place that does not have turtle safe lighting, let the front desk know that you think they should. It is also very important that you leave the beaches as you found them. Fill any holes and level any mounds you may have created. Never leave tents, chairs, toys, or other objects on the beach overnight because they can obstruct the sea turtle's path. Garbage is often mistaken for one of the sea turtle's main food sources, jellyfish. Ingesting garbage can often have fatal consequences, so please collect your garbage as well as any you may come across. The future of sea turtles is uncertain, but there is great hope that if we work together we can protect one of the planet's oldest natural resources.